Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. This is Miss JD for another episode of our Daily Stock Market Insights. Time now is uh, twelve thirteen in the morning of um, May twelfth, but this um, video covers the May eleven performance of the Philippine stock market. So uh, the um, stocks that we'll be covering here are the stocks in. The Philippine market, the highly traded ones. At the same time, I'll talk about the index. And just a disclaimer, I discuss technical analysis. I may be adding uh, some uh, news or some fundamental stuff here, but really the focus of my discussion here is on technical. So if you know anything about um, the company, Feel free to drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts because we can also learn from you. And if this is the type of video you want to watch every day, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so we can uh, join together in this journey. Okay, I do this every single day, by the way. Okay, so let's get started. Um, let's first talk about the index. I normally start with our discussion uh, with the index here. <clears throat> okay, so the reason why I zoom out a little bit to a weekly chart is so I will understand the, the overall sentiment of uh, the market uh, as to where we are heading actually. So to reduce the noise, we uh, I chose the weekly and then we'll zoom out by, you know, um, uh, looking into the daily chart. So at a glance here. I right away see this uh, level as our resistance in the previous weeks. Uh, particularly, this happened uh, last June of 2020. Okay, so I will plot that as a resistance level. I'll mark that because when a resistance gets broken and then we're starting to go back to that level, chances are that resistance will now act as a support. And um, Actually, this resistance was also supported during this period over here for two weeks. And then for several weeks here, that was also a resistance. And now that we're coming back, chances are we could be establishing a support this time at the 6,500 level. So if you are now going to go look into the daily chart, the probability is uh, still there. Uh, at the same time, I would have to say, <clears throat> yeah, we're still 100 uh, points away from that. Um, and I think there's a big, really, there's a big chance that that level will be respected because, okay, so we dropped, we did a gap down and then ended green yesterday on 10th. Uh, but today, uh, it did not sustain. We stayed flat in that level. And I'm thinking there is still a chance that, you know, this day could be repeated where you have a long wick touching the 6529. And we, though we ended red today, look at the volume of those with bearish sentiment. So probably a lot of our investors are holding on to their positions because the level where we are at right now is already at a very cheap level. That is why the volume stayed really really at the uh, you know minimal level so uh overall the stocks in the index will most likely be uh staying flat wherever they are we have to look into the individual stocks to really get the actual performance but we're already sitting at a possible support very near okay so we're at the six six level uh support is around the 6,529 level. So it's an area and uh, it'll most likely move within that range. Okay, let us get started. I know we have a request from uh, Edilma, if I'm not mistaken. Let me go back to that. Okay, so Edilma, Edilma San, there you have it. Uh, request for Annie. Okay, so let's check out Annie. Okay, <clears throat> all right, so Annie over here, we recovered very quickly, but hey, you have your MA20 right here, and we got rejected at that area, because uh, at the moment, um, since we're still on a bearish sentiment, your MA20 will definitely act as your resistance, but 
with today's candlestick, it supported the idea of this level being a support. So we are establishing a support in this area right now. Previously, each time that price level gets hit, then you got a, a tiny little bounce right there. And uh, the next thing happened, we also dropped. And then today we ended green with 1.80%. So um, we're still on the uh, conservative side. Um, chances are we could be staying or lingering in this level for several days before it recovers. Uh, but talking about your RSI, your RSI is already gaining that uh, slight bullish divergence, meaning momentum is starting to pick up, okay? Uh, we just want that volume to really continue to move up as we go even higher. So anywhere from 442 to 453, if you are a long-term investor here, you may want to consider adding more if um, provided okay you have already studied the fundamentals of the stock you like it and you're just uh, identifying which key level to enter and i can say at the moment it is um <clears throat> an area you can consider do test buys if you like because this is already sitting at a possible support uh between 442 to 453 the next stock i want to check out would be dito Dito had a continuation with 10.39 million on foreign buying. Uh, the volume is still there, momentum is still there. So if there will be fluctuations by tomorrow, and I suggest guys, if you want to engage in Dito, I'm not disputing if you want to go trade this, uh, like wear a trader's hat. But <clears throat> as you go higher and higher, of course, uh, the, the chances of uh, people locking in their gains would be higher. So that's uh, that manifested already here uh, when we had that long week. That means people felt that, okay, it's already uh, a good area to lock in some gains. So that's why they, they took profit and the result is a wick. So chances are, uh, for all we know, tomorrow there will be some more um, uh, profit taking that will happen. And, but overall in the, in, <clears throat> the mid okay mid term perspective this is um this could be a, a still a good area to uh continue uh adding more volume but would be best sana if you could have already added your somewhere at the five peso level uh but <clears throat> in case if you have a a long term perspective um still fine still okay but I try to negotiate a little bit because I'm sure these people will be locking locking in their gains. So be a little patient. I think there will still be a, a day. I don't know how many days will it take for the for the pullback to happen, but definitely a pullback can happen. Okay, so um on the conservative side, wait for it to pull back a little bit because I know this is a resistance area and it could revisit that. Okay. Uh, but really nice volume here with some foreign buying so chances are there could be a continuation imagine how much this thing has already dropped a lot it has significantly dropped because at one point it already reached as high as almost 20 peso area so <clears throat> um i think uh, this is another stock that a lot of people will closely monitor given that uh i think okay um the company really has a strong connections with uh, the government. <laughs> okay, so let's continue our discussion. Um, stocks, we go all stocks. So I have covered Annie Dito. Let's check out Ali. Ali, uh, we had uh, some <clears throat> 5,900 uh, in trades. But we still had a red. We're triggering the lower band. We are approaching an oversold level, but I don't see any, okay? Not yet. I don't see any signs yet that we could be reversing soon. We are still re respecting the downtrend channel right here. Oh, hold on. Where did the line go? Here, at the shop. This is your downtrend, okay? 
that's the line I'm seeing. So we could be, well, there could be some temporary bounce there, but that could be a dead cat bounce. So be extra careful with that. Uh, this is the um, the downtrend uh, channel I'm looking at. So let's go to the weekly chart and really find out where could we possibly bounce next. See, not looking good right here. We could be triggering the lower band some more. Ito, pinaka nearest on a weekly chart. This is the nearest support I see. Okay, remove ko muna to. Okay, so let us see if it'll touch the 29 peso area or 29.21 area. But overall, on a weekly chart, we could be touching that because you had your support right here. That's how I locate my support. I look to the left, find the nearest area where you have that consolidation, and that could be your next support. And uh, here, I was able to spot 29.21. So the main message here is that if you find this cheap, just wait a little while because I know you can get it at a much cheaper level. Wait for it. Uh, we want to see um, a nice volume with a nice green candlestick and then your uh, bullish divergence form before we enter. BDO stayed flat, no change. Uh, but there's a scheduled dividend, May 3rd, tapos na pala. We had foreign buying, so that's a, that's a good sign. We're actually sitting at a uh, support area for our weekly chart. Let's find out if uh, on a daily chart, it is also giving us the same story. Indeed, it is. Uh, so anywhere from 125 to 129, for me, I consider a, a support level. So again, another stock good for long term. Uh, each time it drops, I think that's just your opportunity to, you know, continue adding more to your volume. ASEN, <clears throat> um, right now, this really is on a, a bearish sentiment. Uh, however, uh, well, we have a bullish divergence here, but I don't see a, you know, a sign in terms of uh, the formation of our candlestick. That uh, by tomorrow is a good area to buy. Not yet, okay? I don't see that based on the candlesticks that we have. But mind you guys, early, early signs of uh, bullish divergence was already observed uh, when this price level right over here, then it continues to drop and we're now right here, diba? So that means while the price is moving down, you have a bullish divergence and it manifested for three days. However, short lived continued to decline. So, tingnan natin if we, if we are going to see that nice green candlestick with the, a good volume come out, and that will be a, a the next area we could try out. Hagal hagal muna. Actually, malapit na tayo sa support on a weekly chart. This is where I see it 6.33. Okay. Previously, I thought 7 peso, ah, mura na, pero I think we can still get it at a way, way uh, cheaper level right here. 6.33, if it drops, siguro, wala no, next, parang, <clears throat> sobra naman if it will drop to 2.81, let's see, baka it will just, uh, next support would be right over here, around 5.06. Okay, good and then, good stock to closely monitor. Uh, renewable energy is really going to be, it is going to go big someday. Actually, it's starting to, right? Converge, um, also not ideal to um, to enter as of yet. We, we moved up, but on a weekly chart here, we got rejected at the MA20 line. And we have just, okay, to this week, we have touched that MA20 again, and then we got rejected. So chances are... It will go back to the 24.27 level. And uh, on a daily chart, yeah, still see that. Starting to trigger the lower band, we could be moving down some more. So just wait for that. Um, if you like the company, uh, wait for that perfect entry. Uh, for, for now, you can put it on your watch list if you like. URC. URC, nice movement to the upside that was one two three four five days worth and today was actually a profit taking day for a urc 
Well, we were able to move a little higher than the MA20 line, but I consider this a slight overshoot, but technically this is still a resistance level, okay? Because uh, we're still on a downtrend or a bearish sentiment here. Overall, the direction is really on a decline, and we just, I think, consider this, you know, I consider this a dead cat bounce. Chances are we could go back to the support area again, somewhere around the 103 102 73 so if you can still wait wait for it guys we did a double bottom right here when price reached this level and then touched this level again the next thing you want to see is how did your rsi behave after that so looking at it your rsi actually did a bullish divergence first stop we ended right here second stop we ended much higher than that previous stop so that's now your bullish divergence and uh, the action was actually quick because few days after you have that bounce and now we're again faced with another possible rejection because we're uh, sitting at the ma20 line which is in a downtrend actually is a resistance okay so wait for it you might have some red days uh, again and then get in as near as you can probably around the 102.73 sm sm we have that uh dividend and uh some nice annual returns here 53.62 percent gain um your rsi also giving us bullish divergence price was moving downwards and it is uh moving up in your rsi so maybe what we can do here is just really wait for that nice uh, candlestick and volume at the moment do we still have um okay so just prepare for this we might have a, a day with a long wick again and this area will be touched around the 798 so why would i do this why would i even put the next support because some people who are on you know on the conservative side they really want to get in as near as they can to the support area. So uh, sometimes because I don't get to watch the market the entire day, if I know that that level is already my ideal entry, then I would just put my order. And then if uh, the market uh, catches it or reaches that level, then good. I am now, uh, I, I already have exposure to that stock. But if not, then I find another setup. But uh, prior to that, prior to entering my <clears throat> my my bid, I would do this, and that's the reason why I do uh, record videos every single day, so I get to see you know which stocks do have a good potential. And at the moment, indeed, this SM is now you know a good candidate to be placed in the watch list because the only thing we're waiting for here is that nice pickup in the volume and nice green candlestick engulfing this red candlestick and uh, we're already at the support area okay so that's the, that those are my insights for uh, sm okay uh, i think um that's it for this evening those are the stocks i have covered for you guys uh feel free to drop a comment and uh, let me know your your request i will prioritize that definitely in my next video at the same time guys if you want to show your support to miss jd and if you're logged into your youtube i think you will be able to see the thanks um link down uh below uh you can actually uh, support miss jd through that okay thank you guys for watching and uh, bye bye for now